Good morning. I hope you all are doing good during this time of pandemic, which it, as we all are getting becoming free now. Uh, I hope you all are fine. Uh, I would like to share a small thought uh, that has inspired me many months back. And I would like to share that um, words to you and what inspired me and what changed, uh, changed me. Uh, it's from the book of Nehemiah. And as you know, Nehemiah was called uh, for a purpose. And when he heard about his own city, uh, which is broken and burnt with fire, he was heartbroken and he fasted and prayed before he met at the Persian king where he was working uh, and uh, in chapter 6 has he they were building the gates uh, and there were enemies around him that who had a clear purpose to break Nehemiah's plan and chapter 6 clearly describes who were they uh, if you read uh, Sanballat, Geshem and uh, Topia, they came to know uh, that Nehemiah has, with the help of the people, they have built the walls and there were no gaps, means it was good. Uh, and only the gates were left to be built. And these people were trying to conspire against Nehemiah so that the work of the city would be not completed. And they, um, sent a messenger to Nehemiah saying, come meet us in a village. Uh, but the end, by, as you read chapter 6, it says that five times they sent a messenger um, to bring Nehemiah, to pass on the message to Nehemiah saying, come and meet us. But Nehemiah was strong enough, even if um, the enemies were strong, Nehemiah all by himself was strong because God was with him and he always relied on God and he was strong enough to say no to the call. The message for today, it's very hard for us to say no to many things and we compromise so that we don't hurt others. Um, but Nehemiah was very careful and very, he, he knew what he was doing and what was his purpose and who the people were who was calling him and after so much so many calls and um the sixth time the fifth time when they called they start saying that nehemiah you want to be a king in jerusalem which is not right and we will send this information to the king but nehemiah didn't fall um, into these conspiracy he was very strong to say no. Um, there are a lot of thoughts that we have and a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of thoughts about the past, a lot of things that we don't want to do. Our heart says don't do it, but just to please others, we don't say no and we try to do it. Sometimes it's always good to pray before you take such decisions. Spray a word, God, should I do this? If no, give me the strength to say no to them. It's always good to say no if your heart doesn't allow it. And this is the small thought that uh, inspired me months back. And I was able to come over it because I always used to say yes for everything, even if I didn't like it. Do the will of the Lord. God has called you for a purpose. Learn to say no if it is not God's will. If it's not God's will, your heart will never allow it. Um, let's pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this um, small, short thought that you gave me months back and I was able to share it today. I bless my brothers and sisters in the families, wherever they are. God, I bless them. And God, I thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, for the coming month let this month be blessed in jesus name we pray amen god bless you